Yeah. Extra like starch in the uniform today, Lucy? <laughs> yes, the laundry's screwed up. I feel like I'm wearing a flak jacket. Although around here it might not be such a bad idea. It's a good look on you. Crisp, clean. Why, you're spoiling me, Bob. I don't get hellos from you, now all of a sudden a compliment. We should get together sometime. <laughs> My first flight with Cochran. An extra clown. Did you get that? Where do you think you lost the order? Uh, Mrs. Ferguson's pro thumbling time and plate clip count back from the lab yet. Oh, that's right here. Okay, thanks. Bye. Normal. I'll need a biopsy tray. I'll have to send down a central supply for one. How long will that be? Well, with any luck, you should have one by lunchtime. Very well. Oh, I'll run down and get that for you. Save time. Thanks, Ellen. I'll stop back there. You don't go anywhere until I get that bed count. I finished that hours ago. Watch the phones for me, please. Okay, Bob. The first time was an accident, but if you want a cop a feel, why don't you go paw somebody else, all right? Sorry. Hi, Lucy. Bobby. Right hey, thanks. Whatever you did to my engine yesterday, it's running great. Blew the moisture out of your coil. Oh, the car has one, too? Hmm. Uh, if you're trying to cop another feel, I'll just stand here instead of being chased around the chart wheel. Hey, would it be a normal day if I didn't come by to grab a long john? Oh, by this point, I'd probably feel slighted. How'd it go last night, the date? You getting lucky? <laughs> he probably thought so. Hmm. Nothing for the history books, huh? Carson's monologue lasted longer. I bet you're one of those women who like to go for the distance. First boyfriend was a harrier, quick as a bunny. Gonna give this guy the heave-ho? Well, I wasn't planning on it until he made the casual comment that I might consider breast implants. Looks fine to me. Well, I guess he doesn't have your good taste. But you want another professional peek under the hood? I'll be glad to size you up. Have to show me yours first, Caldwell. <laughs> you two are really disgusting. Helen? It's been a pleasure ignoring each other. Let's keep it up. You call for me? Hiya, sweetheart. I just debrided a cubus ulcer on Mr. Hildreth's heel. Want to help me bandage? Mm hmm. Soap gauze. I forgot to tell you how sexy you look today, Luce. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I smell good, too. I wrap. Nice having a good-looking young thing take care of you. Now, Lucy was telling me she's thinking about getting breast implants to please her boyfriend. What do you think about that, Mr. Hildreth? You look okie dokie to me. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mr. Hildreth. I'll sleep better now. Yeah, that's what I told her. She's well-shaped, firm, makes the most of what she's got. Okay, Bob. Yeah, Lucy's my favorite around here. Unfortunately, she won't have anything to do with me, but... I hear that she's hot for older men who need to get nursed back to health. Cool it, Bob. You want to move him around a little bit once in a while, make sure he doesn't get any more bed sores? Lie back. Enjoy, Mr. Hildreth. Thanks, honey. You come around any time to fluff up the pillows. He made me feel like some cheap piece of meat on the block. We've all had to live with sexual harassment. I know, it hurts. You know, everyone thinks that I'm cold, like a tough chick. But I'm not really Jackie, and I, at least I try not to be. It's no fun playing the same just witch all the time, so I... So I try acting like a good sport. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. What happened? Are you okay? Caldwell harassed her. It must have been bad. I never thought I'd see you cry. Touched her rear, talked about her breasts in front of a patient. Well, what is it with the men around this place? They treat me like dirt, too. Except for Dr. Craig and Wayne, of course. He's so kind. Wayne? Wayne Fiscus? I just want to know what Bob thought he was trying to do. Being cute, which is exactly why you have to blow him out of the water by going to Oshlander. Do you mind? 
But if I go against him, it's going to turn every man here against me. So what? It's better than letting them think you're a pushover for their stupid idea of fun. Take a stand, Lucy. It'll make you feel better. I don't know, Lucy. Maybe you should just talk to Bob personally. Ugh. You don't want to ruin his career. Lucy? What? I need some backup at the nurse's counter. I thought you were capable of handling the whole job by yourself. Are you crying? Bob Caldwell assaulted her. He didn't assault me, Mona. He just went too far with the sex jokes. If he made you cry, that's enough. Well, that's what you get for playing into it. What are you talking about? Earlier today at the nurse's station, joking around with Bob. Oh, you think this is my fault? Well, you certainly seem to enjoy getting him to lift his shirt for you. That doesn't give him the right to treat me like some geisha girl in front of anybody, especially a patient. He ruined my credibility. Isn't that getting a little carried away, Lucy? Hell no. This isn't my problem, Helen. This is Caldwell's, and I'm going to hang him out to dry. Dr. Caldwell's language has been a daily barrage of sexual innuendo. He asks intimate questions about my sex life, makes crude jokes, constantly touches my body. Lucy, I thought it was a game between us. In front of a patient, he made specific remarks about my breasts, patted me on the rear, and demeaned my role as a professional. As a result, I've lost the respect of the patient, who now views me as a source of pleasure, not a nurse. Mr. Hildreth underwent an uncomfortable procedure. He spent two weeks in bed recovering from a hernia repair. I was trying to lighten his mood, bring back his sense of humor. Oh, come on. Okay, you're right. I used bad judgment. Even though I was just horsing around, I pushed too hard. But I did not mean to offend or insult you. I am sorry. Nurse Papandreou, if you've nothing further to add to this complaint, would you mind stepping outside? What? That's it? I mean, he apologizes and that's it? No. Please step outside. Okay, so this is my formal reprimand. Don't worry, Dr. Auschlander, I will stay away from Lucy. Wait a minute, Bob. What have you to say in answer to these charges? I was playing. Not according to Lucy. Look, I don't understand what happened. I mean, Lucy and I fool around all the time, and this time, all of a sudden, she just goes nuts. It was a joke. I thought you were a caring, capable surgeon. You handle your patients with sensitivity and compassion. St. Eligius needs doctors like you. Now I find out you're a brazier-snapping fraternity boy. One more incident like this and you're through, do you understand? Yes, sir. I will apologize to Lucy again. Be glad she didn't slap you with a lawsuit. Lucy, I'm sorry. What I did was wrong. <laughs> well, evidently that's enough for everybody. You say you're sorry and the problem never happened. I don't know what's going on with me anymore. But... Oh, shove it, Dr. Caldwell. Lucy. Don't you ever touch me again. I've been a mess since that girl cut me. Yeah? Well, I'm beginning to think that maybe she had a reason. Maybe she did. Maybe I deserved it for picking her up. I don't know. My whole life is coming unglued. I feel like I'm on some weird autopilot. I gotta hide behind this butcher job, feeling like a picture someone slashed and made worthless. I'm sorry about your problems, but they're not my fault. <laughs>